Hey folks, welcome back to another Alphabet Challenge update. Last week on Monday, I thought the stock would continue to go in this channel, but I had a bias towards the downside, so I mentioned it was more likely to close near the bottom of the channel than the top, and Alphabet pretty much closed on Friday right here around 123.5, which means both my uh, short call at 128 and my short put at 117 expired out of the money. Now what I also did on Friday was roll my 124 naked calls into the following week, which is expiring this Friday. And I did that for a credit of 62 cents each. Uh, plus I had some zero DTE options, like buying a bunch of puts um, at 12 cents and selling them back at uh, more. So overall, I was able to get uh, more money on Friday and that pushed my premiums up to 251. So for week 48, my total return is about $9,000. And if Alphabet continues to go in this channel, it's easier to anticipate where it's going to go for this week. So June 23rd is here. This is this Friday. Today is Tuesday because Monday was a holiday. So it's another short trading week. And I continue to see Alphabet trading uh, either within this channel or if it's going to break out, it's likely going to break out through the bottom. And that's because you have this divergence in the RSI. The relative strength index has been making lower highs. So I'll probably lower my short call uh, to maybe like 127 or 126. And I'll bring up my short put as well. Uh, it's maybe something like 120. So it's still roughly within this channel, but with a bias towards uh, going lower. Also, you can see here the MACD is heading down as well. And there doesn't seem to be, as of yet, a change in this direction. So let's take a look at the option chain here. I'll do my puts first at 120. Maybe I'll sell three of these. And then for the call, uh, I'll see what I can get for 127, about 27 cents each. Okay, so I will sell maybe two of these calls because I already have two calls expiring this week. Okay, so one of these should get filled first, depending on if the stock moves up or down. Order filled. Okay, it looks like the puts got filled first, so I'm gonna lower the call price. Order filled. Okay, and that got filled at 25. So I have two short calls and three short puts, which will give me 113.78 after commission or 150 uh, Canadian. So that should do it for this Order week. Filled. Let's see how these options play out, and and maybe if things look very bearish, I might put on some more trades uh, near the end of the week. But right now it looks like it's sort of in between the 9 EMA and the 21 EMA, the green and the blue line. So if I hide the channel for a second, you can see it's kind of within here. The next direction up or down um, will depend on if it breaks the green line first or the blue line. So we'll have to see, but there's not many days left in this week. So it'll probably be at least next week before we see another leg move up or down. So I'll have another update next week. Thanks a lot for watching and until next time.